Hi, I'm Dr. Gay, Medical Director of the Visionary Women's Clinic, and today's requested topic is to talk a little bit about the pap smear test and the HPV virus. We all get pap smears when they're due, but uh, not all of us fully understand exactly what the pap smear is, why it's necessary, and what it tests for. So let's talk a little bit about that today. The pap test is collected uh, mainly by your gynecologist, but can sometimes be collected by some primary care physicians as well. And if you can imagine the cervix as the circular sort of donut structure with the opening, that's where your period and your blood flow is gonna come out of, there is a zone around the cervix that the HPV likes to infect. And that is a part of the cervix that a brush is simply going to collect a couple of cells, send them off to the pathologist so they can take a look and let us know whether or not there are HPV related changes that are noticed on these cells. At the same time, depending on your age, the human papillomavirus will also be tested. Now, it's important to remember and to understand that the human papillomavirus is a very common virus. It is ex even more common in women under the age of 30, and all you need to do is to be sexually active. So once we begin to think of the virus in that fashion, rather than it's a sexually transmitted virus, which it is, then it becomes a little bit easier to digest. What I care about as a clinician and as a physician is what the HPV is doing to your cells. This is what matters. So as long as you're coming and getting your pap smears, you're staying on top of when they're due, um, I really don't, I mean, it, it matters that you have the HPV virus, but I wanna know what do your cells look like under the microscope? Um, and if there are concerns, if there are changes that are noticed, then further steps will be taken to take a better look at your cervix and make sure that we are not missing any precancer or cancerous cells, take any necessary biopsies and basically keep an eye on it. Uh, the, the changes that HPV causes on the cervix is a very slow change, and that's something that we have taken to our advantage as healthcare practitioners and have created this pap smear test because we can essentially capture uh, the, the process before it ever becomes cervical cancer. It takes a long time to go from low-grade changes to potentially high-grade changes, which are the ones that are associated with cervical cancer. And so as long as you're coming and getting your pap smear, seeing your gynecologist, getting your pelvic exam so we can take a look at your cervix, um, you cervical cancer should not be something that uh, you deal with. Um, so I hope that this video has helped so that you understand exactly what the pap smear does and why we care about it and what the human papillomavirus is. If you don't know when the last time uh, you got your pap smear or if you're due, make sure to call your gynecologist or your primary care doctor. Make sure you stay on top of this because cervical cancer is a, a cancer that we absolutely should not have as women because it is preventable. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them and I will gladly answer them.